evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ihab Mohammed, and I have attended the Youth Astronomy Apprenticeship Program and the After School Astronomy Project Program. And I've had a lot of experience with using microobservatory telescopes and microobservatory image processing software. And tonight, I'll be demonstrating how to combine three different images taken with three different color filters of the Orion Nebula and how to bring a full color image out of them. Now, as you can see, that there are three images of the Orion Nebula. Now, the reason why there are three different images is because that they were taken with three different color filters. And the color filters are red, green, and blue. The reason for them being red, green, and blue is because that red, green, and blue are the primary colors of light. And so to bring out an uh, object's true color, you must combine these three colors to get a full color image of an object. And as you can see, they seem to look black and white. Am I correct? Yeah. <laughs> OK. Now, the reason why they seem to look black and white is because when the microobservatory telescopes were taking the picture of the object, the Orion Nebula, they counted the particles of light, but they did not count the, they did not count the color. So what I'm going to do now, so I can increase the contrast between the Im object and the image, is I'm going to go to my process menu, and I'm going to go to adjust image. And I'm going to put it to the log scale so that it would be easy, easier for us to see. And that's the Orion Nebula. And I want to do this to all three images. Now that you, have, now that you can see the Orion Nebula in black and white, I want to add the color tables. Now, the reason why the colors are already not present in these images is because when they were taken with the microobservatory telescopes, the microobservatory telescope filters did not let red color to come through. So if I'm adding, uh, if I'm adding a red color table to the image taken with the red filter, I'm confident in doing so because I know that what a red filter does is only allows red light to come through and it blocks out any other light. Just like a coffee filter leaves the coffee grounds in the filter and it lets the liquid go through to make your coffee, that's the same way a filter acts. I mean, if you was to go to Starbucks and found coffee grounds in your coffee, you wouldn't be happy. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the color tables to the corresponding images taken with the color filters. Now, next thing I want to do before I move on is I want to reduce the noise. And reducing the noise is getting rid of the, getting rid of the false counts that the microobservatory telescope may have registered. And it will make the picture look neater and cleaner, and it will bring it more accurate to how it looks in the sky. So I'm going to go to my process menu and reduce the noise or get rid of the false counts. And as you can see, it had made the image much clearer and much cleaner. Now, these images were taken at three different times. And as we know, the Earth spins on its axis. And since they were taken at three different times, the object, the Orion Nebula, seems to be in three different locations. But in essence, it's not. It's just that we're, we on Earth are looking at it from a different angle since the Earth has rotated. And so what we want to do is we want to align the images so that when we align them, we can combine them easily and nothing will be off point. So I'm going to go to my process menu and I'm going to go to shift. I'm going to increase the magnification so that when I pick a point as my guide to align the other images to it, I can easily see a point that I'm choosing. Because it might look small here, but in this box here, it looks much bigger. And I need to use an image as my base so I have something to align the other images to. So I'm going to use the image taken with the green color filter. But you can feel free to use the one taken with the blue color filter or the red color filter, whatever color you like better. <laughs> and so now that I have my base, I'm going to align the image taken with the blue color filter to the one taken with the green color filter. And I'm going to pick the star present in both images as a point of guide so that the rest of the image will be aligned with the base image. 
now I have done this with the image taken with the blue color filter. So now I want to do the same thing with the image taken with the red color filter. And again, I'm going to pick a star as my point of guide. Now that I have aligned the images to be properly overlapping, what I want to do is I want to check that they have been pro properly overlapped. So I'm going to go to the process menu, go to the stack select, and pick convert images to stack. So I can see that these three images were properly aligned. And they seem to look properly aligned. So now I want to get the full color image. How do I do so? To get the full color image, I'm going to go to the process menu and go to stack selection and pick convert stack to RGB. And what that does is that it takes the images that I have just properly aligned on top of each other and it com makes it a composite image so that you can see the true color of the Orion Nebula. Now this is the true color of the Orion Nebula. Now you can see when you find the true color image, you can see that many observations can be made. You can see that there's red light surrounding the bottom of the Orion Nebula. Some observations is that people say it looks like a phoenix or a bird. And through these different observations, questions may arise. And astronomers try to answer these questions and find observations. And through these observations, this is how, they make, this is how astronomers make the living. <laughs> I want to thank you for your time and patience, and I hope you enjoyed the presentation.